So the project I've got is I want to replace this combination airline filter and pressure gauge. I've had this since the middle 80s and it's starting to give me some issues. So uh, just time to replace it. It's, it's served me well and so I'm going to use some components from Cobalt to do this. So these are the components that I'm going to use to get my new air regulator and air filter unit put together. So let's take a look at the air filter and this is going to be the first component you want whether your airline comes in this side or this side you want this in line first before the regulator. Now in this particular case this bracket, this nice heavy bracket that came on was on this side. I put it to the to this side because my airline is coming in from the right and you can see that it says on there in there's an inlet and then there's an outlet so it's important when you set this up to have that line coming in properly now this does come apart to clean the bowl and the filter there's your filter that comes out also they tell you just to blow it out. I think it's a bronze type filter. And then this is the lower portion. And you would use this then to clean, clean that out. Now this is steel and the rest of this is aluminum. Now I've unscrewed this from the bottom, this deflector, and uh, it just screws in. And this is your filter. And you just take and blow that out. And this is the item number 0221014. And both sides are 3 8 inch inlets, national pipe threads. Now it does state 150 pounds maximum PSI. And this is the item number 0221014. And both sides are 3 8 inch inlets, national pipe threads. Now it does state 150 pounds maximum PSI. Next, let's look at the, regu uh, the regulator, and just like the air filter, it has an inlet and an outlet. And this bracket is easy, easily changed because all you do is loosen this ring, and then you can rotate it one way or another. So I've got it this way. because the air filter is going to be here then it's going to go into the inlet 
and this is going to go out to the uh, tool the air will uh, leave that port now to regulate your air you use this up here if you rotate it kind of clockwise you lessen the pressure going out to the tool and if you turn it in clockwise as viewed from the top you increase the pressure that is going to the tool then to lock it in place just simply push down you can see how it's got those little teeth there when you push it down it locks in and this is the item number 0357092 and it also has 3 8 inch inlet ports pipe threads Now this is the gauge that came with it, just a small little gauge, eighth inch pipe threads back here, and I didn't want to use this, okay, so, and this was going to come straight out the back, or the, the front, it would come straight out. I wanted something bigger, with more resolution, and so, <clears throat> when I looked there, I had a couple choices. I could go with this one, which would came which came out the back just like the original. Or one of the ideas was using this and coming up on a 90 and using this gauge. And as you can see, I just it, it's these both are liquid filled too, and the resolution is so much better than the little one here now the strange thing is even though they have different mounting positions they both have the same number item numbers are 089 and yet the one they both mount differently and they have different packages as you see here and they are quarter inch pipe threads so anyways I decided to buy one of each until I determined how I was going to do it. Now, if I wanted to use this gauge that came, uh, the same type of gauge that came with the regulator, I'd have to adapt it out like this. Because what comes off the regulator for the gauge is eighth inch pipe thread. Then I found a eighth to quarter inch coupler so I would need to do something like that and I didn't like the way it stuck out so far now the other option was to do something like this and um, so I opted to go this route and I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get my hand back here but you have, you've, you've got enough room to, to turn the regulator so this is how I'm going to do it so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put together the regulator. I'm going to put the gauge onto the front of the regulator before I do anything else. Now you do want to have Teflon tape because you're going to need those on the threads so that you don't get any air leak. So here's what it looks like before we install it onto the regulator. And so you've got your gauge below the gauge I have a quarter by one eighth inch uh, reducing coupling because the gauge is quarter inch and everything else is one eighth inch I need to get it to the eighth inch on the regulator so we go from quarter inch gauge to the eighth inch that gets me down into this 90 and the one side of this 90 
is male threads and the other side is female threads. Then we come to this eighth by eighth hex nipple which is right here. And so then that will screw on to this like that and then that will complete the setup for the air regulator. And there it is. And so this is going to be a much nicer gauge, much easier to see than the little one that came with it. You can see the difference. Now I'm going to put this quick coupling onto this side of the gauge so that this is where the holes reel would go into. Now this is 3 8 inch male, so that's what you need. But I just wanted to show you that when you put your Teflon tape on, you, you want to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere near where that hole is to where any of that Teflon tape could break off, especially into these gauges and stuff when you couple over here and, and, and even in here for the regulator you don't want any of that to get inside any of the components so I just thought I'd point that out alright one thing I will point out that I forgot to mention is you do get two eighth inch plugs and I put one in the back because obviously I'm not using that port and that's why they ha have a, a gauge port on either side again because depending on where you're going to have the bracket the brackets on the other side the gauge goes here put the plug here now they give you two plugs just in case you probably you don't want to use a gauge maybe you'd be putting a gauge elsewhere so they give you that option to if you don't want to use the gauge with this setup you can do that by putting plugs on both both sides Next, guys, we are going to use this 3 8 by 3 8 inch hex nipple to join these two components together. We want to put, we, we need to get the air filter and the air regulator together. And that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and put Teflon tape on these. All right, so the 3 8 by 3 8 hex nipple is on the regulator now we're going to attach this to the air filter and it's just a matter of there it is getting it squared Now I elected to do everything on the regulator first, put this on last. I'm going to go one more revolution. And then just look at it. I've got to tweak that up just a little bit. I've got to bring it back. All right, that doesn't look too bad. Lined up, can always be tweaked later. But what I did, is I used these two flats here and here, and then I just came down and kind of eyed them up. And when they looked like they were pretty much parallel, I called that good.
I've got everything ready to go now so it's a matter of taking this off which will be simple because all I've got to do is use the quick coupler here take off the air hose to the um, reel and way back when I did this I knew that if I ever needed to do maintenance I've got a coupler here so I'll undo the coupler then just add this part to the new uh, cobalt setup and then anchor it to the wall here to this plywood I have and then just reattach the uh, coupler and I'm, I'm good to go one thing you can see that I did is when I came off my line this is the line from the air compressor uh, it's copper I came up above with the air then came down and then I've got a hose to bring it back around into here by doing that by bringing the air up over and down I have it going straight this acts as a sediment trap and then I can open that up that valve and, and blow out any dirt that might have gotten into the line and then I won't be picking up any dirt this helps minimize the dirt going into your airline so let's get the new one set up so that's how simple that is guys just uh, undid the uh, hose to the uh, reel, drained the airline, took off this coupler, and uh, I will take this off the wall and attach the new one. So we're all set up. It's ready to mount to the wall. Here you see the uh, male end of the quick coupler attached. There we have it. Believe me, that quick coupling made this a very easy change. The thing that I had to do here is, and that's the biggest complaint I would have, is if they didn't anticipate people putting these together like this, the bracket on the regulator sits back further than the regulator and the filter so when this is tight up against the wall like you see there I had to fur it out a little bit with just with with washers no big deal it would have been nice if it, they both if this bracket would be back further so that when they're in line like this they would uh, both be the same but it wasn't a major issue that's all I had to do so let's get some air to this have it guys real happy with it I've got her set to uh, 100 pounds here I can go higher with it but I've just got her capped off at a hundred and one thing I do want to show you is here's your um, bowl that the fluids would come in and they have a water level up here maximum you should never let it get that high but you'll notice that there's air in here okay so this valve down here, this this it's got it's spring loaded. When there's no air in this uh, compartment, in this tube, the spring pushes it up. So when you drain your air tank, you will automatically drain any water in here because when the air pressure is out, it allows the spring to push this up, and it will drain any water. Now if you've got air in it, you can also drain it by just taking and pushing it like that. Just pushing up on this bottom so if you notice some and you want to drain it and you don't want to drain the line that simple and uh, my old one you had to 
open up a valve, no big deal. You had to open the valve up and then close it. But when the air pressure was relieved, it didn't automatically drain like this. So this is, this is really nice. But I thought I'd point that out.